Hello, and welcome to a Breaking It All Down Let's Play. I'm Count Zero, and we are continuing to make our way through Remember Me. So, a couple episodes ago, we fl released the floodwaters, and now the water level has dropped in the slums. So, on the bright side, there's more building people to, to go to. On the minus side, we have more leapers on the streets. Really? I just didn't actually take a damage hit this time. Anyway, brawl. So now we can use the spammer to take out prowlers, um, leapers that are hanging out at the walls. But we still have to also manage the clowns that are on street level. And we still deal with, with attacks coming from off screen. One down. Sorry, me. Okay. So, while this does give you a way to kind of knock the ears off, it doesn't mean knock them off for very long. All right, let's just trigger the sense of fury. And there's you. All right, it's not really pretty efficient. At least not why I deal with the guys on the walls. Leapers on the walls. It sounds like a Lovecraft story for the sort of dystopian. Um, Paris. Oof. Now I the now I might be able to deal damage to this guy with if um with the um my espressin. But I might take these guys out, take these other two guys out by the time his presence recharged. Well, I'll take them out anyway. Nope. As well, he's unwinding or whatever. Once he's losing that that charge up, uh, he is slightly invincible, so that's not really an option. Bummer. And there we go. Now I have the Sense and Fury again. And finish this clown off. There we go. Alright. There's another one on top of a building. Okay, so close the shutters. That gives me grab points to climb up. There's another one up there, maybe. There we go. Grab hold. Traverse my way up. Traverse over. And across. Hmm. Okay. It's probably bears mentioning. Cette pub. Je l'ai déjà entendu. C'est bon signe, ça, Frangine. Ta mémoire profonde a résisté au traitement. Jax, c'est tout. 
Jack se fait tout. Jack se veille sur vos enfants et vos enfants l'adorent. Pour fêter ses enfants, Jack est son grand frère. Acted entirely possible. Jack's is sort of meant to be like a Furby that provides, like like a Furby baby monitor surveillance device combination thing. All right, here we go. Still not sure where that um, clickable was supposed to be. Uh, well, let's keep moving. Until more enemies show up. So, this is a, probably our biggest arena fight little thus far. I have to say, fighting leapers and other similar enemies in the slums isn't actually that fun. It's, I guess part of the problem is there's no real counter system in this. What made the combat work as well as it did for like the Batman games is that while a lot of the enemies were very similar, the way the combo system was set up kind of made up for all the faults in the, or, all the monotony in the enemy design because you could string together really big and really satisfying combos really effectively. Now what? Ah, unlocked a new type of pressing. Okay. Hmm. All right, so there's a triangle input. I want to put it over on the second one at, at the end because that one would take take away its recharge. But anyway, Batman combos. Um, Batman combos do a really good job of making char of um, making combat with monotonous enemies or other very similar enemies very satisfying. Trick Fury. And so, while we're fighting the same, basically an identical group of guys to the last group of guys, putting up the combo is fun, and even if the I'm using the same strategies with each group of enemies, because they're all identical, being able to build up that combo is enjoyable and satisfying in its own way, and getting XP based on how well the combo, how big the combo is, also helps. Here, I'm stuck with very linear, very clearly defined combos, and my only control is on the effects of the hits, and there's no real counter option. There's an evade option, which I'm using a, a lot here, but there isn't a counter option. And it'd be nice to be able to say, when a leaper comes off of the uh, of off of something out to take me down, um, for me to hit a counter button to effectively knock them out, or otherwise like hit them, and deflect the attack when they're coming off. I mean, there's a precedent to this, and like there isn't a precedent for doing this sort of thing in action stuff. I mean, I mean the first example comes to mind is like pro wrestling, but there's stuff like like Randy Orton hitting a uh, RKO on a guy who's doing a, like a 450 splash or whatever off the top rope. Locked a new move! Well, let's add that to my combo. I'll need another square for the uh, rank th for the uh, six hit. Oh, we got a square unlocked. Actually, if I unlock that, then what I can do, put both of those in the bottom row, and turn it into a five-hit combo. So now I've got two five-hit combos set up. 
And I need one more. Um... Alright. Yeah, one more turn into six hit. So the way this works now is like I have two healing hits and two um, heavy hits. But not of a cooldown, though. Alright. So yeah, technically, while my combo can get above um, eight, um, six hits here, and later on they say if you do six hits or more in a combo, you, um, you uh, get more XP. Unfortunately, that doesn't apply when you're using the uh, Sense and Fury Espresso, which is unfortunate because that is a um, Espresso that I'd like to be rewarded to use. And, uh, and honestly, the game could probably merit from encouraging me to use Espresso more often. All right. I'm not quite sure where that is. And apparently it started raining. There's the next door. So anyway, because of how this is set up, your XP gain is kind of limited to by the number of enemies that are... leaking brain. Dépêche-toi si tu veux que je te montre comment trouver Johnny. Johnny? Johnny Grintis. Le croque-mitaine du Slum 404. Le seul qui se souvienne des chemins cachés menant à la Bastille. Du moins, c'est ce que dit Edge. D'accord, je me dépêche. Johnny Greendeath. I think that was the name of a that was the nickname of my uh, Dungeon Crawl Classics character. He had a interesting role um, result with an auto dock, and the doc, auto dock fixing its dental work, his dental work. Anyway, so yeah, I've had to use one of these in a while. This game, the game has, if you forget the expression, stepped up its game. Alright, so I need to... move the shutters. Alright. There we go. And I should be able to just leap across. And that will give us a really good place to wrap up this installment. Next time, hopefully, we will make it to the... Um, do the leaking brain. We shall see. But first, freaky enemies. See you next time. <laughs>